What's up you guys, it's Carly and I'm back with another video. In today's video, I will be showcasing the Sims 4 Mod Manager by Game Time Dev. I'm going to show y'all how to download it and how to use it for your game. So let's go ahead and get into the video. So I'm going to firstly show y'all the download page. This is the download page that you would go to to download the Sims 4 Mod Manager. I will also put this in the description. So you want to click the download the Mod Manager icon, which is right here, and you will click the OS that relates to you. So if you have a Mac, Apple, Silicon, or Intel, you would click these if you have Windows 10 11 and this download isn't working for you you would want to click the alternative setup but for me I would want to click the download for Windows 10 and 11 so I'm gonna click download for that and it'll start download as you see it's downloading up here it doesn't take that long to download I do want to give y'all a couple of main features about this mod so the first main feature is browsing your mods folder which will display your CC slash mods in a new way and this can also help with broken CC or just trying to find a name or who the creator is of a CC. So let's say a piece of CC is broken in your game and you don't want to do the Sims 4 trade importer method of adding everything to a sim. You can do it like this if it's just one little piece of CC. You can go through and see and then you can show the hair and then just delete it right there. Um, and as you see right here it says declutter, move, delete, or deactivate mod slash CC. The second thing is viewing your cast CC at 3D, being able to check the lods and the swatches. So if you are a, usually probably if you're like a CC creator or a mod creator or a person that recolors and stuff like that this would be beneficial for you guys the next thing is finding specific cc by using filters to find cc in your mods folder so as you can see right here you can filter it by create a sim post animation build by and script mods and sliders and stuff like that and then you can do build objects other tabs floor slash fall pattern and that like i said right here it helps you narrow down cc and to find something that you're looking for the last thing is curseforge integration download thousands of mods that cc directly from curseforge update them through the mod manager so as you remember my last video i talked about i had some curseforge cc that I downloaded through some sort of mod manager and that is how I did it because of another part of this app that I'm gonna show you guys but you can download curse for CC directly from the some sort of mod manager and add it straight to your phone and that has to do with this part of the app the CC swiper app which is an app that links to your mod manager and you can be on your phone and you can start be swiping for CC so swipe right if you like it swipe left if you don't and once you get back to your computer you can download all of it and it'll be downloaded to your some sort of folder another experimental feature is creating your own loading screen CC a small tool with which you want, can convert images into loading screen CC. So I know some people like custom loading screens where they might want a picture of themselves or a picture of their family, whatever like that. With this experimental feature, you can just drop in your own image and it'll make a custom loading screen for you. And you just plop that in your mods folder and there you go, you have a custom loading screen. And lastly, is scanning your save files and view the cast CC that is used in your game. You can use this if you post CC folders or sim dumps or builds, you can get the CC directly from the Sims 4 mod manager. So let's go ahead and get into the download. Once your file is done downloading, you want to double click the file. So I'm gonna double click Sensor Mod Manager Installer and it says, Welcome to Sensor Mod Manager. You're gonna click next and installation folder. So the installation folder is based on whatever you want it to be and you wanna confirm next. So after it's downloading, it will look something like this. But maybe for new people, it will take a little bit longer to download because you know you have, depending on how much CC you have, it might take a little bit longer to load. And also, it might ask you to put a file route for your sims 4 so real quick i'm going to update it says right here mod cc updates updates are available for service mods so cc also it will do this for some cc and mods not all of them but some of them so this is also a good alternative for updating your mods or cc because sometimes i know with cc you're not really expecting to update it but with this it will show you the update so as you can see right here view updates and uh, mcc is updated even though i thought it updated that. and some eyelashes and some other clothes are updated so i will just click update all and it will just be updating and it won't do anything it will just update and i won't have to worry about anything else <laughs> but like i said um for new people who are just now downloading mod manager this might show up for you it might ask you to put your mod folder path game folder documents and game folder for ea origin so that's steam now if it doesn't access and it automatically does it do not change it unless you have your sims 4 on a different spot than it's saying so as i see right here mod folder path if you don't have your mod folder in this spot you would change the path and if you don't have your game in this spot change the path let's say you have like a hard drive that you have your games and your saves on you would want to change the path to that but because i don't have it anywhere besides where it's supposed to be it's like that so the default path for mods folder is documents electronic art systems for mod the game folder is uh users your user documents electronic arts the sims 4 and then your game folder now this is different is program files ea games the sims 4 these are all the right folders that is all correct so let's go back to the main page so the main page on sims 4 mod manager looks like this it's your main folders now this will look different for everybody depending on what folders 
folders you have in your mods folder now these are my my folders so this is how it looks and basic would just be subfolders inside of mods folders and it just shows some thumbnails and stuff like that so like right here childbirth mod it shows a thumbnail because that's a part of the child, childbirth mod core lock core rpo extreme violence mcc similar list xml injector begins so all in one would just be all of your cc from the first page to the last page so i have let me give y'all an accurate number i have let's see i have 110 gigabytes of cc so if you have less cc than me it wouldn't be as many pages but since i have so much that's why i'm not going to go through each page because that's a lot <laughs> it's 647 pages uh and 19,000 about 19,000 uh mods not just mods mod cc and then curse forge this is all of the creators that i have in here that are part of curse forge they use curse forge and this is all their cc now as you see the pages for this is one out of 51 and not one out of 647 because not every creator uses curse forge this is only for creators that use curse forge okay so that is the first page over it's labeled overview like i said over here you can do filters so let's say i want to do build by build and uh we can leave it like that you see how it shrunk it went from only all those folders to just these few because all my furniture is only in a couple of folders so that's why i only did that to unselect it you would just click it again and it would show all your folders so the next thing is folders and this shows your folders on the side and then shows your cc on the other side so i'm gonna go to my biggest folder i think this is one of my biggest folders close and i'm going to go to let's say ada so let's say i'm gonna give, show you all the options that you have so when you click it these are the options you can select it you can deactivate it you can move it you can add slash remove categories you can copy files to the external folder you can delete it and then you can deselect it so you would just deselect it like that and yeah so i'm trying to find one where they have okay read the b so i read the b this is this is not all their stuff but some of their stuff is eight pages of stuff so as you see right here this is showing the cast the way it will look in cast so if i was to go and cast this is how this hair would look in cast right so let's say i'm like hmm, i don't want this anymore let me delete it i would just click here and it would be deleted now let's say i don't want let's say i put aretha b in the wrong folder let's say this folder was not aretha b and i wanted to move it to another folder i would use this icon right here move selected files and i would be able to move it to a different folder right here as you can see i would click it and then move files but i don't want to do that <laughs> and curse forge is where you can browse and look up um curse forge cc like i said not all creators will be on here only some because not every everyone is a part of curse force creator but like i said you can browse on here you would just click it and click download right here and it would download it straight to your mods folder so the way it downloads to your mods folder is like this as you see i have all my curse force cc in one file and it's called curse force cc <laughs> and it would download based on the creator so for green llamas all their cc is right here and it'll make a folder called green llamas and it'll have all the cc that you downloaded from curse forge and then downloads is stuff that you've downloaded from curse forge like today or at that time where you're working on it but i haven't downloaded anything yet so that's why i have nothing here and updates will be your updates like in the beginning when i first got on this page it showed the updates it will be updates right there okay import would just be if some mod or some cc didn't show up you could import it here custom loading screens this one right here is just very simple you just want to click create custom loading screen select the image let me use some of my own pictures let's say i want to use this right here i will open click the file and this is how the loading screen will look so you can show or hide it so if you don't want the tips or like the loading screen tips you can change it off but if you do want it on you can click it and then change the color of it too so let's say i want it off create package file let's say i just want it in my downloads boom and then when i go to my downloads it will be right there my loading screen okay you guys so that is it thank you guys for watching so i just wanted to give you guys a quick little overview of this and my manager how to use it how to download it and why it's beneficial for you in my opinion to use yes thank you guys for watching if you have any other video recommendations let me know in the comments i will see you tomorrow on stream at 12 p.m eastern please like comment subscribe and i'll see y'all in the next one I can tell, but I could never